What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the 6th episode of The Day I Became a God. This one's titled The Day of the Festival, which surprises me, because I figured the festival, because we've seen we've seen some hints of like the festival and kimonos and fireworks and stuff in the OP, and I figured that would be like maybe the ending arc, like the final scene is with the fireworks and to make like a real emotional build up there, but apparently either we're going to have another fireworks scene or where that's not what's going to happen, so that's interesting. Um, surprised they're doing it so early into the show, but, okay, so just to get last episode out of the way real quick, I, I think I'm one of the few people who probably didn't enjoy last week's episode as much as others. I think I'm one of the few that probably didn't enjoy it as much, because, here's the thing, the actual, when you get down to what the meat of the story was, it was great, loved it, like, seeing the, um, the father-daughter moments there, and the interactions, and dealing with loss, and stuff like that, and moving forward, and doing that. Great. Wonderful message. Absolutely loved it. It was getting there that really just left a bad taste in my mouth. I did not like the deceptive motive behind it. Like, I I know I'm stretching a little bit to call it a deceptive motive, but you know what I mean. And then, I'm, I'm really glad our boy didn't even try and use that as a romantic opportunity, because my god, that would have been the lowest of the low, in my opinion, if you tried to profit... <laughs> profit off of that um, instance when she's emotionally still a little unstable after going through something like that and then you're just like oh yeah you want to date it's like no you don't prey on someone like that so it was a great message but it just got lost for me like I it, it just impacted me too much in the build-up to it that in the end I just it clouded over the rest of my judgment for that episode, and I think it showed in my reaction as well. I'm not super proud of my reaction to that one, um, but it, it's honest. That's That was my honest feelings about the episode as a first-time watch. Like, I'm sure if I go back and watch it again, like, if I was to binge this show uh, again, I, I probably wouldn't have as much of a reaction to it, but in the moment, I did not really enjoy it. So, but even though it was a good message. Um, and now we're moving on to whatever the festival is. Uh, I already know ahead of time, just because I happen to see it, because people are talking about it. Apparently, uh, this is a Jim Mider work, and as such, he has a lot of other works that he's, that he's done. One of which being Charlotte. Apparently, there's a Charlotte character cameo in this episode. I don't think it's an important cameo, I think it's just like, oh look, there's that character from Charlotte, implying that, like, they're all in, like, a shared universe type thing. Um, but I have not watched Charlotte. I will not recognize said character. So if you're expecting me to react to when that said character appears, apologies, I've not watched Charlotte yet. So, yeah. Hopefully I, it won't matter, and it's just like a background character. It's like, oh, okay, that, that was apparently a character from Charlotte. Cool. Um, but if there's anything more important than that to be known, please let me know, just because I have not seen it yet. Uh, but anyway, don't spoil what actually Charlotte is about, though, because I know nothing about the show, other than it's a Jim Myler work. So I'd rather, if I do eventually get to Charlotte, as maybe a uh, potential future reaction, although I don't tend to do backdated reactions, I tend to just do the current season, but who knows in the future what might happen. Anyway, uh, I've rambled on long enough already. I have I spoke way too much in uh, Sig Dreifer earlier today, so I just want to get on with this one. So, as per usual... These are time-based format reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you only see the time for the episode. I'll count you down 3, 2, 1, play. Then on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. Uh, watch this one on Funimation as per usual, since that's who's licensed it here this season. We have Anaplex logo and then Funimation logo afterwards, so about 12 seconds of logos for those keeping track. You can also use the screen flash on my face and the mic to tell when scenes are transitioning. Uh, picture in picture coming soon, soon, TM, maybe. Check Discord, so there'll be more information about that later. Anyway. Let's get into this week's episode in 3, 2, 1, play. Anaplex. And of course, Funimation. Cheers to that. We on the basketball court, I guess. Prelims, okay. Okay. We're going to build up these two a bit more. Oh, okay. A dream? 
of a past event or of an upcoming event? No idea, OP time. Yeah, we haven't seen much more of Hacker Boy since uh, his introduction. I figured that would be a parallel story that we'd be exploring, but maybe not. Maybe we just need to set it up, and we'll come back to it later. But yeah, this scene, I thought this was going to be like a big finale scene with the fireworks and stuff, but apparently not, if we're doing it this episode already. Alright, here we go. More watermelon, of course. Mm hmm. Oh boy. Sure. Yes, the last summer, of course. <laughs> uh huh. Oh boy. Sure. <laughs> Interesting. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh. Yep. It's your kid's own world. Jesus Christ, lay it on <laughs> laying on fake, aren't you, boy? Uh. <laughs> so am I. That explains the like. That's the correct response. <laughs> They're both the same. Love it. Mm hmm. Mm 
Yep. There's one way of putting it. <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> yep. All of them. Yeah, there's <laughs> a lot coming. Oh. What is Tamazon? Has it? Oh. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I mean, that looks good. Actually, it looks really good. God, I'm hungry again. Uh. <laughs> Let's get the full festival experience right now. <laughs> It would seem so. Oh, of course. Uh, of course, the penguin. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. It's pretty clever. <laughs> Is there anything? Oh, damn. Nice. Oh. Sure. <laughs> I expect it as much. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh boy.
They're gonna pass this bait. Yep. Yep. Scheming. And immediately catches on. I love him. I like the little bromance we got between these two. They just leave. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, they did. Good job, guys. <laughs> mm hmm. Ah, uh, okay. I like these guys. I really do. It's not often you get really good male supporting characters. Like, you often get a good... M well. I take that back. Having a good male uh, lead and supporting male character. It's not often you get that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No oh boy. Cookie dislocation. Uh-huh, sure. Yep. Yep. Hmm. What's up? Mm-hmm, so I get jealous. <laughs> oh boy, this can only end well. What are you doing, honestly? Uh. 
No, she's getting dejected. Don't get in the truck. Oh no. She's gonna get shot in the truck and transported away. Yep. That seems overly suspicious. Almost feels planned, almost. Like, I don't know if this show's gonna do something like that, but... What if it's Hacker Boy? What if it's Hacker Boy finally found his target and they're taking her? Is this where the stories convene? That would be interesting. I doubt it'd be an act. Like, how could you accidentally? She's right in front of the open door. How do you accidentally shut her in without checking the contents of your thing? I don't know. I don't buy that it's just a. Also, why is it leaving now? The festival's still going on. Yeah. They're gonna find her stuff, yeah. Yep. Tokyo, okay. Hmm. Uh, no shit. But if she was omniscient, wouldn't she know that would happen? I don't know. On the bike we go. He's got a really nice bike, let's be real here. That fish is going to die. Hmm. Really? We fast and furious now or something? Like, what the hell? What? Oh shit, he got hit by a truck before? Oh shit, he did. Hmm. And so he had to quit the sport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is such a dumb plot, but I love it.
Imagine it was the wrong truck. God. <laughs> really though, if a bike is flagging you down right from the beginning, I know be distrustful, but you could still at least stop and just see what's going on. You know? But whatever. I mean, two youths on a bike trying to flag you down in a truck is a bit suspicious. I don't know if that counts as redemption, but... Hmm. No. I like that they built these two up. It was nice. Again, the fireworks, which again I expected to be the uh, season ending visual, but. Well. Well, the world's meant to end, but. Who knows? Just loaded. Man, you start to doubt, don't you? Nine days, oh boy. Fast approaching. Okay, so it wasn't Hacker Boy trying to track Kina down. That would have been very interesting development. Also, very early for six episodes in, but you know. That was a good episode. I like that they focused on those two. It was a nice moment. It was a bit dumb to get that like Fast and Furious stuff in there. But whatever. Do we have an after credits here? Not likely, no. Might get an next episode title if if that. I like how they tied it back into basketball as well. And again, the goldfish. Right, anything more? No. Not even next uh, episode title. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was good. That was a good episode. Um, someone in the comments is going to have to tell me who the hell was the Charlotte character, because apparently there was a Charlotte character in this. I have no idea. Uh, let me know who it ends up being, because I, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen the show, so... Um, yeah, that was a good episode. I liked it. Um, it was a little ridiculous to have him jump onto a moving truck, but, you know. I mean, anime, right? So, well, I'll excuse it, but it's a bit ridiculous. Um, what you could have done is just have, um, uh, what's his face on the back, Yota, uh, just have him get his phone out and be like, Hi, police. Uh, yes, we have a potential, like, I think a friend is uh, trapped or kidnapped in a, in a truck. We're on whatever highway we're on. Uh, we need you to flag down, flag down the truck. Like. I, you know, might have been a, that would be probably a normal person's approach to that. I'd have thought, but anime, so we jump onto the moving truck. I mean, yes, there's a time component to that, but still. Still. They did try flagging him down first, and he just, like, flashed them out of the way. Which I can understand, but also be a bit more mindful of, potentially. I think Japan would be one of those countries where people aren't that distrustful about something like that. I figured, maybe it's just a misinterpretation of how I think of Japan, but I feel like Japan would be very, very much like, Oh, I'm being flagged down. Something must be wrong. Like, 
If you've got someone trying to flag you down in the middle of a motorway, a busy, relatively busy motorway or uh, highway or something like that, I would think, hmm, something's maybe wrong. Like maybe if you're in a truck, maybe the back door's open. Maybe I have a, maybe something's wrong with one of the wheels. Maybe my lights are out. Maybe my lights are stuck on. Something like that. That's where my mind would first go if I was being flagged down like that. But anyway, uh, it worked out in the end eventually. Um, I doubt I'd have any actual police action done to him, but whatever. Because uh, he doesn't, well, he's he's negligent. Like, you, do, you check the back of your van before you close up, surely. Especially since it's been open for just an extended period of time. You double check to make sure you've got everything in it and there's no one taking anything. Check inventory before you leave, surely. At least I would have, I would if I was a truck driver. I'd always check the back of my cabin like before I left anywhere if it's been open for an extended period of time without me directly supervising it, especially. But whatever. Uh, still a good episode. Enjoyable. Um, I don't know... I don't know what... This served to build up Yota and um, Ashra's like, relationship. It drove to build that friendship up a bit more. I don't know if there was much other purpose beyond that. Unless it's unless this is this whole show's thing is like enjoy life while you still have it, like get the most out of every day. Like that's the kind of vague message I'm getting out of this. Like don't be bogged down in. Don't get bogged down in life in in the sadness. Move on and experience all the happiness because you you don't have forever to. You will run out of time eventually, so might as well enjoy it while you can. Like that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this show. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything more out of this, but I guess we'll wait and see what um Jumaida, uh comes up with. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Uh, I enjoyed this more than last episode for sure. Had it had its moments, but you know. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the episode and your comments as well on what you thought. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the full 2020 life you can find on the channel. Thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.